Hey, Dan with Guardian Mold Prevent here. I want to look with you at an attic space located in Palos, Illinois. And as you can see, we're looking at the underside of the roof or the roof sheathing. And uh, there's been a mold problem that's developed here. Uh, it's You can see the discoloration on the OSB plywood. Um, and the mold is a result of poor ventilation and poor insulation. Now, this is a home that is on the market. The homeowner is looking to sell, and the potential buyer's home inspector came in and flagged the attic for mold. I want to take a few minutes and talk to you about why the mold is developed in this attic. As you can see in the diagram, uh, your roof is supposed to be constructed in such a way that you have a good insulation barrier over your ceiling so that the uh, conditioning that you do to the air inside your home, whether it be cold or hot, but um, mostly we worry about the warm air, stays down and out of the attic space and only conditions your living space. Then at the overhangs or the lower portions of your roof, you'll see that there's some vents cut in at the soffits that allows cold air to get in, forces the warm air out and up through the upper ventilation, uh, the mushroom vents or the ridge vent at the top of the roof. When one of these items is off kilter a little bit, it causes condensation and then ultimately mold growth. Now in this home, we're looking quickly at the outside of the house and you can see that there actually are no overhangs. Uh, the home is constructed in such a way that the gutters are right up against the brick uh, face of the house and uh, there's no place or there was no place for the builder to put lower ventilation in the soffits. So uh, ultimately there's no good way to get uh, cold air up and into the attic space to condition it. Now we'll look at a shot from the inside of the attic and as you can see there is no daylight coming up through the soffit portions because uh, as we just seen there are no vents cut in because there's no uh, overhangs there are no soffits. Now another culprit that's allowing warm air to get up into the attic space is this whole house fan. These uh, are notorious for being essentially just a gaping hole in the ceiling that allows the house heat to get up into the attic space and uh, ultimately when you've got ice cold roofing members and warm air that comes in contact with them especially in the winter time uh, you're going to reach dew point condensate and get mold growth. Now another item uh, we're going to look at here is the fact that this home uh, has bathroom exhaust fans that are run up into the attic. They're using non-insulated lines and they're basically just pointed up towards a mushroom vent in the roof. Uh, the proper way to handle this would have been to uh, use an insulated line that runs a sealed connection from the exhaust fan and goes to a dedicated vent that's on the roof. So this is just another place that this attic is uh, gaining heat uh, from the living space. Now another item that we found in this attic is that they actually have a furnace up in the attic. Furnace is obviously a, uh, an item that would generate a considerable amount of heat and while you can see these runs that are in the attic are insulated uh, at the joints there's some breaks uh, these are not perfect uh, scientific connections here um, and ultimately this is adding up to a perfect storm in the attic space. Uh, the last thing that I want to look at is that right above the attic hatch you can see the homeowner has uh, stored a bunch of their personal items. Just another way to block airflow in an attic space had there been proper ventilation this would have kept it from or restricted it to some degree. Now you can see we came in with air machines. Uh, we uh, treated the rafters and the sheathing with a biocide. We then physically scrubbed them down, coated them with an acrylic based mold resistant coating, comes with a 10 year manufacturer's warranty, and this homeowner is now able to close on their house.